My name is Chris Ward, member of the Cabelli Fund's growth equity team. With the majority of earnings season now behind us, I wanted to highlight a few themes coming out of the quarter in the enterprise software space. First, the transition of workloads to public clouds remains early innings. Amazon Web Services CEO Andy Jassy estimates only 3% of global IT spend is currently in the cloud. Sure enough, the pie continues to grow for all three public cloud vendors, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. One of the biggest pieces of news coming out of the quarter was Google delivering some long overdue improved revenue disclosures, which showed Google Cloud Platform growing 83% year over year, albeit off a small base and still a distant third to Amazon and Microsoft. Some of the themes we would highlight coming out of the quarter include improving margins. While Google doesn't report segment, mar segment margins at this time, improving cloud margins quarter over quarter for Amazon and Microsoft reflect fixed cost leverage, but also traction with higher margin platform as a service and software as a service offerings, as these companies continue to push up the stack to higher value applications. Examples include AI and machine learning, data analytics, and next-gen NoSQL databases. Hybrid cloud remains a popular topic, with Microsoft clearly benefiting from their unique legacy assets there. Multi-cloud offerings continue to be of emphasis, especially for Microsoft and Google, which makes strategic sense given these vendors want to reduce friction as much as possible in an effort to take share from industry leader Amazon. Finally, there's been a significant sentiment shift around public cloud security. Security, once seen as a limiting factor for public cloud adoption, has become a key selling point across all three vendors. Moving from infrastructure to the application layer, digital transformation remains a top IT spending priority. Common investment areas include digital marketing, data analytics, workflow automation, and DevOps tools. These trends drove strong results for the names we own in the space, Adobe, ServiceNow, and Atlassian. Importantly, unit economics remains strong across the group, which we expect to drive continued operating leverage into the future. Valuations across the space remain high, even after the most recent market volatility, so our focus remains on those names displaying healthy unit economics and strong free cash flow support. As it relates to the macro environment, clearly IT budgets will not be immune to a potential recession. However, we can take solace in the fact that relative to other industries, these companies have low exposure, low exposure to China, the secular tailwind of digital transformation is not going away, and to date, demand trends remain strong.